Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm sorry it's coming a little bit late, but it is my monthly BoxyCharm unboxing. This month you'll notice that the box is much larger than normal, and that is because this is the September Lux box. So a little bit on the brand and details, the regular BoxyCharm is $21 a month, and then every third month you can pay a $28 upgrade fee and get the giant box, and this is only available every three months. So I'm gonna be doing a full unboxing, try on everything with the Boxy Lux. but that being said, there is a giveaway in this video. This is an extra box I have lying around with the items from last month. So I will be giving away a full August boxy charm. If you wanna win this, all you gotta do is like this video, leave a comment down below with your favorite product from this month, and then, if you want a second entry, leave a second comment with your Instagram, and make sure you're following my Instagram, at Brett Guyglam. I will pick a winner if the winner is a handle on Instagram, I'm gonna make sure you're following me and you win. If the comment that wins is a YouTube comment, then I'm gonna check, make sure you're following me, and if you are, you win. So it'll be one winner, but there are two ways to enter, one on Instagram and one on YouTube. That being said, let's jump right into the box. So I'm not gonna hold this box up like this every time I pull something out of, because it is absolutely massive. I say that and then I start doing it. I'm gonna put the box right here. I will be pulling out of it. I will show you what's in there, but I'm not gonna be hosting it up because it's so heavy. The paper is double the size it normally is. The theme is Wild Flowers, and this is, like I said, the Boxy Lux. Totally gonna ignore the fact that I just hit myself in the face. So we are gonna work our way through the box, but the first item out is actually the one I'm not even gonna touch. It is the R Plus Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo. I do not use dry shampoos. My hair is not long enough to need a dry shampoo. It's just not something I use. So my sister is going to love me. So that's for her. And that retails for $17. Next item out of the box, this is from Vintage Cosmetics. It is the Dolly Makeup Headband. This is kind of adorable. It retails for $4.99 and it's a cute little headband you can use to keep your hair out of your face when you're doing your makeup. This just became my new skincare best friend. So you're gonna see this on Instagram a lot with me using it when I am posting mask looks because I do love having like a headband right here so I can get really high up on my masks. Now I am gonna talk about this just because it is not an item in the box. It's just kind of an extra thrown in. This is a really cute tote bag that says Totes a Charmer with the BoxyCharm logo. You know I will be using this and it's really cute, but like no resale value, just kind of adorable. That being said, uh, the tickets just went on sale today for the Boxy In Session in New York. In the city, there's going to be a makeup class. It's going to be fabulous. Tickets are on sale and I will link that down below. But for those of you who didn't know, Brandon and I will be attending. We'll be there to sit through the class, enjoy it with you guys, meet up with you. I would love to meet some of you, especially those of you in the BoxyCharm Beauties Facebook group. So make sure to also leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna be there because I wanna meet you and hug you and take pictures and it'll be so much fun. So the next item out of the box, this is from Smashbox and Nicole Concilio. It is the limited edition primer water. I got it in the scent Centering Citrus. It is a primer water. It's a setting spray. I'll be using it as both. There we go. That smells delicious. Mm. This is beautiful. I'm going to use this again to set the face later, but it smells wonderful. This retails for $32. Next item out of the box, this is from Juice Beauty, and it is the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. This retails for $80, holy crap, $80. Um, I am not actually gonna try this on camera just because you're not gonna see a difference. Things like this need to be used over time. Plus, I've already done my skincare routine for the day, but I will be trying this out tonight. Make sure to come back and take a look in the comments section for how I feel about it, because I will definitely make sure to bring that up in another video. And if I don't, and next month you wanna know how this is, yell at me in the comments section of next month's unboxing and tell me I forgot, and I will totally update you. Next, from Luxie Beauty, this is the 732 Airbrush Foundation Brush. This is, it's got this really pretty groove for your finger. This is actually part of their new collection, I believe. Yes, it is their Luxie Pro Tools collection, and this retails for $38. I'm gonna be using this with one of my favorites to apply my foundation today. 
I'll be going in with the Dior Forever Skin. I'm in the shade 22. And with dense brushes like this, what I like to do is I like to just take a pump or two or three of foundation on the back of my hand, kind of press it, and then stipple it into the skin. Product? There is something in my hair. There we go. This soaked up a little bit of product. Normally, the two, two and a half pumps that I used would be enough for the whole face. I did need to grab another pump, and that actually should be enough now. But, a brush like this soaks up a little bit more product than the brushes I typically use, which would be a flat top kabuki. It is super soft and is actually applying everything really nicely. So it's that beautiful catch-22 of a little more product but a really seamless finish or a little less product but you gotta work to make it look smooth. That makes sense? But this is really applying quite nicely. I might like this a lot. Usually a brush like this I love for packing in powder foundation, but I am really liking it for liquid today. So I'm going to throw on some concealer and I'm actually going to use the same brush to blend it out. And it seems to be working just as well for concealer as it did with foundation. It is definitely a little on the wide side for down the nose, but it is working. And an issue that I do find pretty common with foundation brushes is when I take it with the concealer it tends to bunch up or pull up product. This is not doing that. It's not bunching up. It's not pulling the foundation off of my nose. It's really just kind of like blending it in and letting it do its thing. Now, normally this is the time where I would set the hell out of my face, but next product out of the box from, next product out of the box from Girlactic. This is the Skin Glow Duo. It is a crushed pearl duo blend of cream blush. Ooh, I messed that up, didn't I? This is kind of cool. So the pan is actually magnetic. So that was weird. My pans were stuck to the mirror. But anyway, this is two cream products, one for blush and one that seems to be a highlighter. That is really pretty. I hope that's translating well on camera. But the blush seems to be a little less intense, which I actually think is preferential and the highlighter is blinding. So we're gonna try those out today. With a beauty blender, I'm just gonna go a little bit into the blush side and add just a little bit of rosiness to the cheeks, not anything overboard. That is giving me a really pretty like pink sheen, so I am enjoying that. I always love the way like these cream sheen products work but I never use them because I always powder my face and forget to go in with these first. But I do love how they like make your highlight pop. On the bottom of the sponge, I'm gonna take a little bit of the cream highlight and just pat that over the cheekbones. Oh, that's really pretty. That is gonna be a beautiful base to a highlight. For those of you who like your highlight to be a little more natural, you can totally like build this up with the cream, set it down and be fine. I'm gonna probably end up taking a powder highlight over it but this is really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna quickly set down the under eyes and get to the point where I'm ready to use the next product. Okay, so face is set down and that glow is still coming through on the cheeks. So that makes me really happy because that means that this is something that I will actually use. <laughs> it's kind of a waste to put on a cream highlight product if it's just gonna go away the second you set your face down. I am gonna grab a little more of that primer water from Smashbox and just kind of take down any of that powderiness. And the next item out of the box from Sol Gennaro, which we have gotten in the box before, this is the Sunset Glow Oil, which I am actually kind of indifferent about. I don't really use products like this, but I am happy to try it. So this retails for $35. Enhance your skin's natural glow with a dry, non-sticky formula that allows you to experience effortless radiance. So what I am gonna do because I typically don't use glow oils, is I'm gonna take just a drop of this on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna add that to the cheekbones. Holy crap, that's really pretty. Wow. And surprisingly, even though it's an oil, it is layering quite nicely over foundation. Normally oil-based products will make your foundation kind of gunky and tear it all up, but this is not doing that. 
So the next item out of the box is probably one that I was the most excited for, and this is the Ojitos Eyeshadow Brush Trio from Alamar Cosmetics. Gabby worked for with BoxyCharm. I don't know if she still does, but she started Alamar Cosmetics. We did get the Reina del Caribe palette three months ago. We got it in June, and I have been eyeing these brushes ever since, but they've been teasing that we were gonna get them in BoxyCharm, so I can't wait to play with them today. They retail for $18, and you get three brushes, a flat brush for either pat and concealer over the lid for a cut crease or your shimmer shades, a fluffy blender brush, and a flat definer brush, which is really perfect for the lower lash line. Now the shadows I'm gonna be using today also come from the box. This is the Nightingale palette from Pretty Vulgar. It is a really pretty palette that has a lot of these vampy, deep, cool tones. I'm gonna to be playing with this today. This retails for $35 and I'm gonna jump right into it and I'm gonna start with Pillow Talk right here, Pillow Fight, sorry. I'm gonna zoom you in first. So starting with Pillow Fight, I'm going to dust this all into the crease. So this is not typically the type of brush I would go in with for my first shade. It is a little bit fluffier. I do know that there are a lot of people who really love these really fluffy brushes for their first color. I'm not really one of those people. I prefer to go in with something a little stiffer because I don't really love blowing my shadow out. But since so many people do, I do understand the desire for a brush like this. Next, going into Hide and Seek right here. I'm just gonna use this to deepen up the outer portion of the eye. That's weird. In spite of how flimsy the bristles are, it is building up the color quite nicely and fitting right into the socket of the eye. I did hear a couple people talking about how these brushes were a little scratchy. That is not what I am finding. So, ignoring the flimsiness, which I don't love, it does feel like a very soft brush. I don't know, maybe I just have rough eyes or I'm a little less sensitive but some of the people were really, like, unhappy with these. I am not one of them. Next, going into Swoop down here, I'm just going to really smoke out this outer portion of the eye. I am still using that first brush. Now I am gonna dip into a fluffy brush of mine with that um, Hide and Seek shade right here again, and I'm just going to diffuse some of that product just because that's what I like to do to blend. So next up for the packing brush, I'm gonna take Clutch right here, and I'm gonna start that dry, and if I need to wet it, I'll take the Smashbox Primer Water, and I am definitely going to wet that shade. That is really metallic. There are a lot of brushes like this that really don't work, and about at this point, I would have to go in with my fingers and honestly, I don't feel the need to. Like, this is just working really well. I am gonna take a little on my finger just to see if that builds up the shadow anymore. And honestly, it didn't really do all that much. So this brush really is working. And last brush is the flat one, which I'm going to take on After Midnight, this gray shade in the middle. And I'm gonna take that on the lower lash line, really close to the waterline. And then on a smudger brush, this is one we got from Vintage Cosmetics a few months ago, I'm gonna go into Silver Spoon, this shimmery, cool-toned, it's almost like a blue-gray. And I'm gonna use that just to blend out this dark color and add some vibrancy to the lower lash line. That's really smoky. Then just to add a little bit of balance, I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this cool-toned neutral right here and I'm just going to add a little bit of this to the crease, just so that the bottom and the top match a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just gonna curl my lashes and throw on some mascara, and I'll be right back. And now just to finish this look off, I'm gonna dip into Break Free, this highlight shade up here, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of this to the brow bone, and then the inner corner. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the primer water just to kind of lock everything in place. And onto the next item out of the box from Tarte. This is the Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. If I could get the box open, that'd be helpful. <laughs> this retails for $45, and I have been eyeing this for a long time. And this is absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna be using this pretty much for everything else today. So I'm gonna start by grabbing 
a bronzer brush. This is one from the new Jaclyn Hill brush collection with Morphe. I'll link that video right now. And I'm going to take angled right here and just warm up the face a little bit. Then to contour, I'm going to dip into Princess Cut, which is a little bit more cool toned. And I'm actually getting enough red coming through from that blush. I say red, but like pink. I am getting enough pink on the cheeks coming through from that initial blush, so I'm not going to be adding any more. But I am going to be taking Enhance, this light brightening shade, and I'm going to use that just to brighten up the under eye. This palette smells delicious. Is that weird? Is it weird to think a palette smells delicious? Well, I don't care, it does. And then I'm gonna take this deeper shade, Halo, and I'm gonna use this just to kind of clean up the contour area. So the one issue I have with the look right now is it is a little bit underwhelming on the glow side. So I'm gonna dip into, let's find it, there it is, my highlighter brush. And I'm actually going to go into that shade Break Free that we used on the inner corner. And I'm just going to add a touch to the cheekbones. And the last item out of the box, this is from Grande Lips. This is the Hydra Plump Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rebel Raisin. I actually use this brand of Lash Serum and I absolutely love it. That is the shade. I think that's actually going to look stunning with this eye look. So I'm just going to throw this on really quickly. So with one swipe and one application, it is a little on the patchy side, but I'm going to take a little bit more and layer this up and see if we can get it an even layer. So I didn't line today because I wanted to see if this would kind of feather, and it hasn't really done a lot of that, which is good, but it did bleed down a little bit on this side, so I'm just going to clean that up with a little concealer. So the more I finagle with it, the more it is kind of feathering and bleeding a little bit. So definitely line your lips with this and definitely don't take it all the way to your lip line or you will end up smudgy and kind of faded like me. That being said, I do love the color and I'm going to play around with this a little bit more once I have a liner in use. But we're going to jump into final thoughts. First up, the primer water. I think this smells fabulous. I will leave down below in the comments section whether or not I feel like it made anything last longer because honestly I could tell you that it smells great now because it does but as far as whether or not it's going to make a difference long term, I don't know. The glow oil. I did notice that it did separate the foundation a little bit so don't take it over your foundation. It's not going to layer well. It's going to disrupt what's underneath but that being said it is really pretty and definitely great for those of you who like to look bronzy and glowy. Take it all down this area if you're wearing a nice low cut dress. The works. This is going to be a really good staple or for those of you who don't like foundation, take a little on the cheekbones to add a little bit of glow and it won't disrupt anything if there's nothing underneath to disrupt. The Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette, I definitely like the tone of it and I think it worked very well. I do want to play around with some of these more shimmery shades because they have a little more of a sheen to it. That being said, these two shades worked really well and I did actually really like the brightening shades, so this is a win for me. On to eyes, I have no complaints about either of these. I think both of them are really good. If you can get your hands on these brushes, I recommend it. It kind of, I don't know if mine is just pinched a little flat, but it just worked so well for just fitting right into this area. But it didn't pack on too much pigment. Like, it definitely helped for a diffused, smoky look because these bristles are really fluffy. This is the item I think I'm on the fence with because I don't love cream products like this, but it did work really well. So I'm inclined to be like, if I want a light makeup day, maybe this is something I'll reach for. But this is definitely not something I'm going to reach for on the regular. These two items from R & Co Dry Shampoo and the Juice Beauty Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. This I'm not going to try. It's going to my sister just because, I mean, I don't know... I don't know dry shampoo from a hole in the wall to tell you if it's good or not. And this I'm going to put to the test and I will leave down below letting you know what I think. The headband is adorable and you know full well that I'm going to be wearing this. And you will see me wearing this and it's going to be adorable and... Brandon's going to make fun of me. But that's okay. I don't care. I like it. <laughs> then there's the lip. I am also on the fence with this because I feel like if I lined my lips, I would have loved this a whole lot more. I definitely feel the tingle of plumping, but I don't know how I feel about the lip itself. So focus on me, focus on me. 
There we go. I don't know how I love about the lip itself, so I'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit more, and I'll let you know what I think. So all in all, this box cost $49.99, and the retail value of all of the items, I don't know if you see that number, $355.99. So for those of you who did get this box, or if you, oh, the Luxie brush, I knew I missed something. This also worked really well. This might be one of the standout items in the box because I think this applied everything really airbrushed and really smooth. And I've recently been playing around with the Dior Air Flash Foundation, and this gives you an airbrushed finish. And I was able to achieve that with this brush and the regular Dior Foundation. So really, really good. All in all, I do think that this box was totally worth it. If you were able to get on your hand, get your hands on it, congratulations. And the next one will be out in December. So if you go into your Boxy Charm preferences now, you can upgrade to Boxy Lux in hopes that you will get it in the December months when it comes back. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.